Hey, what's up, Fight Family? Contemplate Boxing. I uh, wanted to talk a little bit about uh, some recent comments from Frank Warren. Of course, this was in regards to the ongoing back and forth between uh, current Unified Heavyweight Champion Andy Ruiz and Matchroom Promotions leader uh, Eddie Hearn. Now, as everybody knows, there's been a lot of back and forth regarding the rematch between Andy Ruiz and Anthony Joshua. Of course, Andrew Ruiz has signed a contract prior to their first uh, fight engagement in which it gave Anthony Joshua and Eddie Hearn uh, the right to decide the location of where their rematch would be. Also gave them the right to, you know, give him a certain amount of money. We're not really going to talk about the money today, but we're going to talk about the location. As you all know, that uh, recently Eddie Hearn did announce the location as being Saudi Arabia and Andy Ruiz has expressed some concerns. Now we did see in so many words on his social media account Andy Ruiz pretty much said hey Saudi Arabia is not happening I'm not gonna fight over there. In response Eddie Hearn has essentially threatened legal action against Andy Ruiz Jr. since Andy Ruiz did sign the contract with specific stipulations. Now, in response to all this and just commenting on it, Frank Warren, uh, he essentially said that Andy Ruiz may have an actual strong case if that fight actually did go to court. This being the case uh, because of the nature of what's been happening in Saudi Arabia over the last several years. Of course, uh, we know the assassination of the journalist, um, I think his name was... Uh, uh, Kisan Kasoji, forgive me if I have his name incorrect, or his first name at least. The journalist Kasoji, of course, was murdered by the Crown Prince and the Saudi government not too long ago. That was just earlier this year, as a matter of fact, I think. And then, of course, you had some uh, things that have been happening, some bombings at airports, etc. They do deal with a little bit of domestic terrorism as well. So, Frank Warren essentially was saying if it's a safety concern, for himself, Andy Ruiz Jr. does have a strong case, and that legal fight will not be nearly as easy as Eddie Hearn expects it to be. And I can definitely see that. I can definitely understand that. If that's Andy Ruiz's concern, I can definitely understand that. Now, there's a flip side to this as well. Um, even though Saudi Arabia does have its issues, this would not be the first boxing match that Saudi Arabia has hosted. Um, if we remember, it hasn't been that long ago that Amir Khan versus Billy Dibb occurred, and that actually was in Saudi Arabia. Um, now, if there's a concern there, then, of course, you know, we did hear the rumors that Amir Khan hadn't been paid. I don't know if he's gotten paid yet for that fight, but there were those rumors. But I don't know if that has anything to do with the Saudi government itself. But... Fact remains, Amir Khan versus Billy Dibb did occur in Saudi Arabia. And I could be wrong on this, but I had thought that uh, George Groves versus Callum Smith occurred in Saudi Arabia uh, back in September of 2018, as a matter of fact. I could be wrong on that. Somebody please correct me if I'm wrong. But aside from that, if we're talking about entertainment or sports entertainment, in general, we know that uh, large organizations like the WWE, Vince McMahon has been hosting WWE shows in Saudi Arabia since 2014. As a matter of fact, they just did a show not too long ago that had brought out quite a bit of people. And those shows have been kind of popular, uh, pretty popping over there in Saudi Arabia. So he's been doing pretty well with that. Not to mention different musical artists that have been performing over there in Saudi Arabia. Now... With that being said, we do know that there have been musical artists uh, that have refused to perform in Saudi Arabia. Even within the WWE organization, there have been wrestlers that have refused to perform in Saudi Arabia. Of course, we know, uh, I believe it's still the fact that none of their female wrestlers can perform in Saudi Arabia. You know, so there's that because of the different human rights abuses, things like that that are happening. So I can understand that. But the fact remains still that there have been several shows, musical shows, uh, entertainment shows, uh, sports shows that have happened in the country of Saudi Arabia and have happened without incident. So the argument for Andy Ruiz in regards to safety may not be nearly as strong as Frank Warren is thinking. 
Um, if we're talking about, you know, WWE shows, uh, they did their, for their first show April of 2014. They did another one October of 2015 at uh, King Abdullah Sports City Sports Hall. Then, and again, in November of 2016, they had a SmackDown show. Um, then they did another one April 2018. Then they did another one November 2018, June of 2019, and then October of 20. Uh, actually, they have one scheduled October 31st for 2019. So they got another one that's upcoming. So, I mean, they're doing a lot of good things over there in Saudi Arabia. So... The concern of safety may not be as strong as Frank Warren or even Andy Ruiz is even suspecting. The other side of this is this. All right, we're talking about possible domestic terrorism, right? If we're talking about having the fight in the U.S., I prefer that the fight happen in the U.S. I want the fight to happen in the U.S. Anthony Joshua lost the titles in the U.S., I think that he needs to try to regain the titles in the U.S. He was trying to build his brand here. He should continue to try to do that. Eddie Hearn was trying to build his brand here. He should continue to try to do that. However, if we're talking about a concern of domestic terrorism, how many domestic terrorism events have we had in just the past four or five years? How many mass shootings have we had in the last few years? People going into churches shooting the stuff up. Las Vegas got shot up not too long ago. Uh, I think it was just, what was that, two years ago, year before last, I believe. You know, had a mass shooting out there. Had a mass shooting in Dallas. Um, the number of mass shootings, if you're really comparing that, you know, if we are calling it what it is, which is domestic terrorism, you know, we have those concerns over here. So I'm not sure if that excuse or and not excuse as in like, you know, it doesn't mean anything. It definitely is a serious concern and it's valid, but I'm not sure if it's as strong as we may initially believe. Andy Ruiz Jr. wanted to host the fight in Mexico. If safety is a concern, then I mean, you still have the drug cartels going to war with one another in Mexico. You still have people that are dying in Mexico over a lot of this stuff. So what is the difference between the drug cartels being at war in Mexico and innocent people dying over there versus what's going on in Saudi Arabia with some of the domestic terrorism that they're dealing with over there? I mean, it's, it's still the same issue. So Frank Warren, I think he brings up very good points. If that is Andy Ruiz's concern, I think he brings up very good points. But I don't think those points are nearly as strong as we may initially believe or even as Andy Ruiz or Frank Warren may initially believe when I take all those other things into consideration. Now, there's something else that I was kind of thinking of here, uh, specifically in regards to Eddie Hearn and uh, wanting to put on these shows over in Saudi Arabia. Um, now... Outside of a lot of the controversy that is happening in Saudi Arabia, um, there's, there's money to be made out there. You know, if we're just looking at it from a business sense, and a lot of boxing fans like to always say, boxing is a business, boxing is a business, boxing is a business. So much so that to some degree, I do get tired of hearing it, you know. Um, I don't always like talking about the business of boxing because none of those dollars are touching my bank account. I'm not getting one red cent from any of that. But if we are considering this, um, trying to break ground further in the Middle East with boxing shows isn't a bad idea. Maybe Eddie Hearn is looking at what Vince McMahon has been trying to do out there, having successful shows in the Middle East. Of course, we're talking about two different things. We're talking about wrestling, sports entertainment, and boxing. Um, but the promotion of, of either one over there, you know, may work similarly. If Eddie Hearn is trying to break ground for boxing or further break ground for boxing in the Middle East, specifically in Saudi Arabia, what better show to do it than Andy Ruiz, Anthony Joshua too? You have a UK icon in Anthony Joshua and a young upstart. And when I say upstart, I mean somebody that just completely shook up 
the heavyweight world and knocking out Anthony Joshua and becoming the new unified champion. You know, the two of them facing off, clash on the dunes, as they call it. What better event to break ground in the Middle East, in Saudi Arabia, than this particular show? So, I mean, I, I think it's good promotion if that is what Matchroom and Eddie Hearn or even the zone is trying to do. Um, I don't think you could really choose a better show at the moment. Now, I don't like to talk about Al Heyman versus Eddie Hearn or Al Heyman versus Bob Arum or, you know, too much of this other stuff. But if Eddie Hearn is thinking about the advantages of breaking ground in the Middle East where there's a lot of money to be made, I would be very surprised. As a matter of fact, I doubt that Al Heyman hasn't considered that either. You know, if you have a large promoter like Eddie Hearn that is doing very well in the UK, and then he started to break ground and do kind of well in the US, but then he starts also making a footprint in the Middle East, well, I mean, you got one promoter that you know, is, is making some big moves that you may not be baking yourself or you may not be prepared to make yourself. And the money that they can eventually uh, get from the Middle East, you know, could actually draw some of your fighters over to that particular brand. So it wouldn't surprise me if Al Heyman is actually advising Andy Ruiz to not do Saudi Arabia because of that um, and I wouldn't blame them I wouldn't blame them uh, again if this is if we're talking just business I would not want a rival promoter breaking ground over there if I haven't broken ground over there you know that was, those are just my thoughts you know I'm not a businessman I'm not an economist or anything like that you know and I'm no expert but and then plus like I said I really don't even like uh, talking about it, discussing any Al Heyman versus Eddie Hearn, Eddie Hearn versus Bob Arum, or any promoters versus promoters or anything like that. Personally, I don't care about any of that. I just want to see the fights. But I did find it kind of interesting. It is a little bit interesting to think about, you know. But anyhow, those are my thoughts. Curious what uh, you ladies and gentlemen think. Anyhow, as always, hope y'all have been enjoying the fights. Uh, hope y'all enjoyed you know, my thoughts and my reflections on uh, some of these things, please, you know, let me know what your thoughts are. Anyhow, peace. God bless. Y'all take it easy.